in the last video, I was I was making jokes about people who are still selling their CD out the trunk of the car, and people who are still doing shows at hole in the wall spots, and things like that. And I was talking about streaming and how much where all the money's being made in the music business. And I made a joke about independent artists, and and but in all honesty, there's a lot of money to be made as an independent artist. And I want to really break down how much money can be made if you're an independent artist and you cultivate a small following of 10, 20, 30,000 real fans. And I'm not talking about these fake fans, these people who just follow you on Instagram or Twitter just because you may have been posted in an article or you were the talk of the month and you just got a bunch of followers because you were on the news one day. I'm talking about people who really listen to your music. They really know about you, your movements. They're really fans of, of your art and whatever you do, they're going to support it. These are the people that come to your shows. These are the people that'll buy a t-shirt from you. These are the people that'll buy a, a CD from you if you were selling CDs uh, physical CDs, not streams, uh, downloads. But I want to break down how much money you could make if you had 25,000 real fans. If you made music and you had 25,000 people, you know, a lot of, you see a lot of like people, they have like 10 million followers on Instagram or Twitter. But let's just, let's just break down if you had 25,000 real fans who will buy your CD for $19.99. And that's not absurd to sell a CD for nineteen ninety nine. You know, you could sell a twenty song CD, or uh, you know, you could sell a CD with some amazing artwork and a nice, you know, some nice pictures, a booklet, or whatever. Let's just say you sold a nineteen ninety nine CD to twenty five thousand of your real fans. That's four hundred ninety nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars cash. That's almost a, that's that's two hundred. And fifty dollars short of a half a million dollars, or let's say you didn't sell your CDs for nineteen ninety nine. Let's say you sold them for nine ninety nine. You make two hundred forty nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, quarter million. That's real money. You know, independents are still making lots of money and still have the opportunity to make lots of money in the music business. So 10,000 fans, if you had 10,000 fans, let's not even say you had 25,000 fans. Let's say you just had 10,000 fans. You know, you sell your album for $9.99 to them. You sell your t-shirt for $9.99 to them. They come to your show. You know, these are 10,000 people. If you could get all 10,000 people to do this once a year, this is how much you'd make. You sell your album for $9.99, your t-shirt for $9.99. And then they come to your show and they buy a ticket for nineteen ninety nine. So for each of those ten thousand fans, that's thirty nine ninety seven that you will make. Multiply that times ten thousand, and you made three hundred thirty nine thousand seven hundred dollars off of ten thousand fans. If you divide that by twelve, that's twenty eight thousand dollars a month. With just 10,000 fans. What are you going to do with $28,308 a month? You could get a Lamborghini. Get some insurance. The most that's going to cost you is $5,000 a month. You could get a the nicest apartment. $17,000 on rent in a Lamborghini. You'd still be left with $11,000 at the end of the month. What you going to do? Go to Whole Foods and spend a thousand dollars on, you know, the nice fruit and vegetables and all that. And uh, let's say you share some money. You got employees working for you. You pay a few people. Hey, let's say six thousand a month goes back to, you know, your people, your, your your business or, you know, your family, your friends, your girl. Let's say you got phone, you know, phone bill, light bill, cable. bill. That's another thousand. That's only eight thousand dollars. You left with about $3,000. Put that in the bank. Put it in a savings account. Call it a month. You're living a good life as an independent artist with 10,000 real fans. It's not that much. 
you see people with a hundred thousand fans on 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 uh Instagram and Twitter and all of that, but are these real fans or are these just fake fans? If they're real fans and they'll support you and they'll buy your project and they'll buy your t-shirt, you get 10,000 people, you're going to be living a real comfortable life. And you don't need much money to live a, a comfortable life. I mean, a few hundred thousand a year, you hear about people making millions and millions of dollars and all of that is cool, but it gets to a point where you can't, you can only buy, there's only so much shit for sale. You can only buy a house. You can only buy a car. After you're making a certain amount of money, like I said, the Lamborghini is only three to 5000 a month. If, you know, you could buy one of those. It's like, a Lamborghini don't cost $10 million. You know what I mean? The nicest car doesn't cost, you know, it, it, what I'm trying to say is once you get to a certain level, you're going to be living the same lifestyle that the richest person lives because there's only so much shit that you can buy. You can live a real comfortable life for two, three, four hundred thousand dollars a year, and this is what some independent artists are making, selling their music online. It's having ten, twenty thousand fans and touring and selling their t-shirts, and it's it's possible. And I'm just exaggerating. You know, you don't really need a Lamborghini. You don't really need a fifteen thousand a month apartment in Manhattan, do you? Do you really need that? You know, you could split that three hundred thousand up two, three, four ways. And, you know, you and your team will still be comfortable, especially if you got other things going on, you got other ways that you're making money, you know, 60, 70, 80,000 extra dollars coming in every year just off of some creativity. That's that's really dope. Anything more than that, and you're just really balling. You know, you're going to the half a million a year, million, two, three million, four, five million a year. you just, you're really balling. And that could be achieved with 20, 30, 40, 50,000 fans and that's why these mainstream artists, they're making a lot of money. Because if you can reach a hundred, a thousand, a million people that really support you, I mean, it's no limit to the amount of money that you can make. You know, fans, the power of fans is really amazing. Don't believe people when they say there's no more money in the music business or they say things like records don't sell anymore or there's no money in the music business, the music game is over. And that's not true. The records are sell. People will buy anything from someone that they support and they really love. Fans will buy anything you sell them. You may hear people say things like, don't quit your day job and the record industry went downhill. And I'm here to tell you firsthand that that's all a lie. There's plenty of money circulating in the music business. Last year, music revenues in 2016 were the highest they've been in eight years. And year after year, Gains of over 11.4% were the largest percentage increase since 1998. This growth is almost entirely driven by the rise of the streaming era. It was reported by Forbes magazine that Taylor Swift earned upwards of $170 million in 2016. You say, how does this happen? How do you do this? You do this by having real fans, real people that support your music. Real fans will buy anything you tell them to buy.